Football is back, and Arizona State is gearing up for its second season under Herm Edwards. With new additions, along with several returning players, the team looks to surpass its accomplishments from last season. However, the loss of New England Patriots first round draft pick Nikhil Harry is a big hole to fill. One on one ball. Are you kidding me? Are you me? A flag is thrown. Are you kidding me with that on hand? He is on his back. And he makes this grab. Are you serious with this? Come on. Everybody understands the magnitude of the player we lost and the production and the physicality and what he brought to our group. I think on the other side of it, it's college football. So we understand we've kind of been pointed towards this. We knew probably a pretty good chance that Kill was going to enter the draft early and be gone. So, you know, enter Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk is entering his senior year at ASU. The wideout joined the program for the 2018 season after transferring from junior college and produced right away. Now he's primed to be an even bigger target through the air for the Sun Devils in 2019. I'm just a lot more comfortable and uh, having one year under my, under my belt, I understand how things go so I'm able to really prepare for things before they happen. Last year it was kind of like everything was coming at me. I was new to everything, so every, every time I seen something, it was the first time, but now having that year, uh, I'm able to prepare a lot, a lot better. A guy that got a lot of reps last year that we kind of, you know, were bringing along to be a guy that was going to take the kill's place, and he played a lot for us last year, was tremendously productive. Last year, Ayuk had 33 catches and fielded the ball on punts and kickoff returns when Nikhil Harry wasn't doing it. 22 of those receptions actually came in ASU's last four games of the season. But he was most threatening after the ball was already in his hands. According to Pro Football Focus, Ayuk led the Pac-12 conference with 7.8 yards after the catch per reception. He's tremendously skilled, let's put it that way. I mean, he's got a great spot quickness. He's, he's got great, wonderful size. He's not quite as big as Nikhil, but he's not small. Uh, he's tremendous with the ball after his hands. If you look at his body of work from the last, from let's say from game five to the bowl game and how much he improved, I mean, it can't help but get you excited. We, we feel like he's headed in the direction to have a really big year for us. Ayuk made noticeably big strides on the field in his first year wearing maroon and gold. But the California native has found ways to better himself as a football player off the field as well. I never really understood what it was like to, or really understood how to really watch film. So working with D. Haig in the offseason, I understood how to not just follow the ball while watching film, but watch the DBs and watch what they do, their tendencies and stuff like that. And then on the field, just being able to recognize coverages before they are, before they're shown and before they snap of the ball. You know, you sum that up in one word, just maturity. So much more comfortable, his confidence. I was looking the other day, you look at his strength numbers, how much he's improved in a year that he's been here. I mean, he's like a, a different guy. He's a great kid, but you can just see the confidence, the maturity, uh, the assuredness, uh, the way he carries himself, the way he walks around a building in a good way. He just, you know, he's ready to go. Although Fisher and other offensive coaches are expecting Ayuk to be a top guy, the Sun Devils plan to utilize all their receiving weapons to help fill the void that Harry left behind. It's a loss. It's a loss, but we have guys here, you know, that are stepping up, like multiple guys stepping up. So um, I wouldn't say the difference between last year and this year is going to be a huge difference. I, I honestly think that is going to be an upgrade. We've got really good weapons out there. I mean, we've got three veteran players. we got Kyle Williams, Frank Darby, and Brandon Ayuk. We've got young guys and Jordan Porter and some other guys trying to come along to give us that depth and pro provide production for us. I feel like I just have to take, handle things the same way I did last year. and uh, Don't look at it as being the number one guy. Just look at it as me being another person uh, that has to do my job. And I know Frank's going to do his job. Kyle's going to do his job. The young guy's going to do his job. GP, everybody around us, everybody in the receiver room is going to do their job. So we just look at it as one unit. The Sun Devils kick off the regular season at home against Kent State on August 29th. In Tempe, Ethan Schmidt, Devils Digest.